guys and welcome back to my channel. It is time to do another Yurtle unboxing. I love doing Yurtle unboxings. Um, if you don't know what Yurtle is, Yurtle is essentially like an online garage sale site, but instead, and instead, <laughs> instead of selling your items for cash, you're selling them for Yurtle dollars, which can then be used on the Yurtle site to get more stuff off of Yurtle. Um, the only cash that's actually been exchanged is when you pay for your prepaid shipping label. So, I mean, the buyer's got to pay for the shipping label, but then, like, the seller gets the shipping label to ship it out. Um, there are supposedly fees that are going to be starting here in September 1st. Um, so far, Yurtle is still free to sign up. I believe it's going to continue to be free to sign up. Um, and it's going to be free to list things, but it's when you go to buy something. Like, currently, if you get something small, it's like a $4 shipping fee, and then I think... To my understanding, there's going to be like an, an additional like $2 charge, and that's just to help keep Yurtle up and running and keep the websites going and all that other stuff. Um, but bundling, to my knowledge, is still good. We're still good for bundling, which you can get tons of great stuff when you bundle. Um, and really, you know, spending 6 bucks and you get like a whole bunch of stuff isn't that bad. Just make sure you bundle, and it'll be totally worth it. Um, but yeah, that's supposed to happen in September 1st. So, let's go ahead and go into it. My hair's like crazy today. <laughs> oh, well, where do we want to start? We'll start with this. Um, I ordered, I don't think they would get here this soon, so I'm doubting this is what it is, but I ordered Molly a whole bunch of like dog clothes from some lady who posted them. Like, I don't know, like five some shirts that I got for her, and I'm so excited to get those because they're so stinking cute. But I don't think that's what this is. And it's not. It's a shirt I got from also. And I think I bundled something else in here with it. What is that? Did she give me a free gift? Because I'm not sure what this is. Um, anyways, <laughs> we'll get that here in a second. That's something people have started doing on Yurtle is adding in free gifts um, when you buy something of theirs. I had one lady send me a black leather purse when I bought her car bra. So... That might be what that is, or maybe I bundled it. I don't really remember. <laughs> but it's just this cute little cardigan over thing. That's the back of it. Here's the front. Put it on so that you can see it. Straighten it all out. Got a bunch of stuff in here. Let me move. Can you see that? Isn't that adorable there in the back? Great with like a tank top or something. So, and there it is in the front. A little small on me, but not that bad. And I think it'll be really great this winter with like a white long sleeve or a black long sleeve shirt. And this will just like add a little something to it. Um, and what was in this bubble wrap here? I can always use more bubble wrap. I always throw my bundle wrap. My, bu my bundle wrap? My bubble wrap <laughs> when I send more stuff out. I just use all the shipping goodies that I've gotten. Your yurtle. I think this might be a nail polish because I do remember bundling a nail polish with something I bought recently. So that's probably what this is. But I didn't think I'd bought anything extra when I bought that shirt. So I'm not really for sure on that. But I'm going to guess that I did. Yep, yeah, that's nail polish. Good packing, girl. Like, three baggies, a thing of bubble wrap. This wasn't going nowhere. And this is just a really pretty color. Um, the, br the brand is Love and Beauty. It's from Forever 21. Um, it doesn't say what the color is. No, it doesn't seem to. So, but that's just a really pretty color. I would... Uh, test it out on my nails if I could, but I've got nail polish on currently, so, um, on to the next one, which I have no idea what this guy's gonna be, let's see what the best way is to get into this, I'm always afraid I'm gonna, like, hack off half of what's in there, and I'm, like, cutting it open, <laughs> I'm like, no, one of these days it's gonna happen, because it's just my luck, 
Oh, these are the dog clothes. I didn't think they'd get here this quickly. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and haul them for you guys and let you see them. And then at the end of this video, um, I'll add in Molly wearing all of her dog clothes. So we got this one here that says Diva, which is so stinking cute. This feels and looks like one of them from the Dollar Tree. Um, but my Dollar Tree never gets these cute ones. I always have the same blue with the peace sign, pink with the hearts, and black with the rhinestone paw print. Like... I've got all those. We need some different stuff going on. But, uh, here's the first one. So cute. Here's the second one, which is definitely not a Dollar Tree one. Um, and I was definitely wondering how this was all going to work because that looks like it would have buttoned on the bottom like a onesie, but there's nothing going on back here. So when I saw that, I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and get it and bundle it in because she only wanted a couple bucks for it. But I was like, how am I going to put this on her? I don't think she's going to wear a onesie. <laughs> and here's another one that also feels like it might be from the Dollar Tree. It says Rockstar. And I love that little pink poof right there. So stinking cute. This one, I'm unsure if it will fit her or not. It likely will, but it might be a little tight. Um, just because it is an extra small. But it's just a little pink tank. Nothing really going on. But I think she won like one yurtle dollar and I was doing the bundle anyways and I'm like throw it in. And then this last one I'm not sure it's from. I don't think this is a Dollar Tree one. Um, and it says princess on it. So stinking cute and like I said I will insert a clip at the end of this video with her wearing all of them. Last yurtle box for the day and I'm pretty sure these are the candles I ordered which I have been so excited about and I've been bugging the crap out of my husband over. But I don't want to say what it is just in case. Just in case it's not. I'll make you wait. At first when I opened this I thought that was a diaper. I'm like why did she send me a diaper? <laughs> oh here's yeah this is exactly what I thought it was. So here is the, it was a bundle, okay, so I'm going to show the best part last, but here is a little shirt that I got for Molly for Christmas time. Um, I gotta be honest, I didn't realize it had Santa Claus and candy canes on it until after I ordered it, and then I went to track my package, and then I read the description, and I seen that it said they had candy canes and Santa Claus on it, because I probably wouldn't order this otherwise, but uh, for whatever reason, I thought it had owls on it. I thought it was blue with owls, <laughs> but it's blue with Santa Claus. Um... Yeah, how did I get an owl out of that? I have no idea, but that is so cute. I hope it fits her. It looks like it might be a little bit wide, but I've seen that she had it on, I believe, a little French bulldog or possibly, a, like, it was a puppy, um, but a bulldog or a uh, Boston Terrier, one of those kind of dogs to have the broader shoulders. So I'm thinking maybe if I wash it and throw it in the dryer, it'll shrink down and then it'll fit Molly because it is an extra small and extra smalls anymore just don't, don't fit her but that looks way too wide for her because she's so dainty built she's a pomeranian she's do mix and she's got a very dainty build to her so i don't know if that'll work for her or not but maybe putting in the dryer will shrink them down and then i got i believe five let me see yeah five of these mark jacob candles that smell like their perfume daisy that i cannot afford to buy <laughs> $200 for a bottle of perfume is too expensive in my book. I'll wait until it stops being so expensive. Um, it looks like these have been used a little bit, but that's okay because I've got like five of them. I'm only going to use one at a time. God, it smells so good. So heavenly. I love the way this perfume smells. I'm sad that I don't get to smell like this, but at least my house gets to smell like this. Um, and I did get five of these. And they're very cute little, little, uh, candles a little bit of a glare going on little, little candles mark jacob daisy and i am just so excited about this i've been bugging the crap out of my husband about these like i can't wait to get these i can't wait till we get here oh my goodness heavenly heavenly and they're so strongly scented right now as is in the jar hopefully that they just stink up my whole house because these are amazing I love these things. I will not necessarily these things. I think they're candles. I love candles. <laughs> but this perfume is like my favorite perfume right now. I mean, I don't own it, but every time I go past the mall, uh, what is that place in the mall? I don't remember. One of the stores in the mall has it like out on the counter and I always have to go up and smell, and smell it because I'm like, oh. and then I like spritz them on me. And that's the only time I get to wear it because again, $200 for a bottle of perfume. I ain't got that kind of money. So that wraps up my yurtle haul for today. 
Um, I will insert the clip of Molly wearing all of her puppy clothes. Um, I've got a few more things coming from Yarol to add into this haul. And uh, yeah, so I'll wrap that up today and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I have a, another Yarol box coming today. Um, to be completely honest, I should probably hang tight on doing this just because my mouth really hurts. <laughs> this is the second day after surgery. Um, for my wisdom teeth and oh, it's so sore but I'm very bored and I miss filming um, I had a bunch of pre-recorded videos this week so I haven't really filmed anything and I'm just itching to get back in front of the camera so um, today should be the dog car seats which I'm pretty excited about I ordered these almost two weeks ago um, I ordered one for Molly and one for my mom's dog Missy because they were both psycho in the car um, so this will keep them tethered down and safe and off our laps because <laughs> that's where they want to be. So I was pretty excited to find these. Sorry, I'm like, I know I'm not facing the camera. I'm trying to unbox them right now. Um, I was pretty excited to find these on Yurtle because I was looking at them in stores and they're like 65 to 100 some dollars or whatever. They're up there in price. Um, so... I don't know which one we're going to keep. I think they're both black, but this is what they are. There's like little car seats that strap in for your dog. Your dog sits right inside this compartment, and they got the little leash here that'll keep them in their seat. Um, and these are also supposed to be ones that you can carry them in. So I'm not really sure how that would work. Like, I don't know, there's a bunch of straps going on right here. So I'm wondering if it's supposed to work like a backpack or... You certainly wouldn't carry your dog like that. I mean, that just wouldn't work out very well. Um, I'll have to play with this and see how these work. But yeah, I was really excited to find these. So, ooh, dropping it. This one says um, American Candle Club. And what's with this pocket here? Let's see. This opens up. I don't know what the point of is that is in that. There's like, uh, I don't know. I guess it's a little bit of a compartment. It's a very tiny one. Maybe put like a leash or something in there. Um, not really much. There's the first one, and then here is the second one. And this one doesn't have as nice of a lining in it. I mean, it still has a soft, squishy padding for the dog to sit in. Um, this one says Outward Hound Pet Gear. Um, and again, it's got like a little leash here to hold the dog in. And it's also got a frontward po front pocket here. Just as small as the other one, so maybe just putting on a leash or a couple of bones. Um, I'll have to mess with these and figure out exactly how you're supposed to carry your dog around in them, but, uh, so, that's what I got in your little today. Oh, and she left, there's like a little message in here that says hi, um, let's see what it says in here, um, it says, thanks for yurtling with me, I do hope you love them, yurtle on, so, sweet little, little message there. Um, I very rarely do little messages in my yurtles. I really should because it's such a nice touch. So fun to get little handwritten notes and stuff. Um, but that's it for today's yurtle haul. I've got tons more stuff coming in and I will see you guys later in the week. Bye. Hey guys, so it's been a few days and I just got another, um, package from yurtle. This one came in the priority mail, um, and I noticed that on... The Yurtle Facebook group, there's been several people commenting with concerns about people shipping in priority boxes, um, saying that it'll cost the receiver money and you're not supposed to ship like this. Um, this is the first time I've gotten a priority mail, bo mail box shipped to me. Um, I didn't get charged anything, so I don't really know if like, maybe the sender paid to do it like this or what's going on. But you're supposed to drop your item off at the UPS store um, with your prepaid shipping label and all that good stuff. And then the UPS store gives it to, like, um, USPS. And then they bring it to your house, supposedly. Sometimes UPS brings it. Um, so for those reasons, you're not supposed to use one of these boxes. That's my understanding of it. So I don't know, but I didn't get charged anything for it, which is good. Um, so we'll get on into it. Apparently a spreading knife isn't a good thing to use, <clears throat> but there's some scissors on the floor, so we'll just 
use those. Scratcher I got off of Yurtle. Pretty excited for this. Um, let's see. She shipped it on the She put it on a piece of paper here. Crap all over my fingers. Tape. Okay. So she didn't fill the little info sheet out. She just said, um, yay kitties. <laughs> so that's okay. Um, but it is a cat scratcher that hangs on your door. And I thought my cats might like to have it. So um, I've seen these, I've been looking at them at Big Lots most recently, and I think they're like 12 bucks at Big Lots. Um, probably comparable at price at Walmart, uh, and who knows at Petco, because Petco's expensive. So, I got this, I th think, for four Yertle dollars. So, uh, and then I paid four dollars in shipping. So, essentially I got this for four bucks, which is fantastic, and it doesn't look like it was even used. Like, there's one little spot down here, which... I don't know if that's from a cat claw or if it just was like that when she got it. So I, I think you got used a little bit. There's a few scratch marks here. But really it's not very noticeable. Um, and I don't really care because my cats are probably going to go to town on it. So this is pretty exciting. Um, I have three more boxes coming that I will unbox for you guys on this video. Um, so I'll see you in a couple more days. So it's been a couple of days and I just got another box. So I'm pretty sure I was wearing this shirt the last time I talked to you guys. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't remember. But we got some more yurtling to do today. So we got a box and an envelope. We'll get on into it. I still have to film Molly and all the clothes I got her. So a few things were tight. I don't know if they're going to work very well. And then that shirt that was a Christmas shirt that I thought was um, owls <laughs> didn't fit Molly it was too broad for her but it fit Missy really well so I did not order all of this stuff so hmm. maybe that's one of those free gifts um, info sheets nothing's been filled out okay so what I did order it was this really pretty shirt, and it's from Old Navy. And I decided it'd be really nice for this fall, maybe this winter. Pretty excited about that. And then she sent a dress along with it, a maxi dress, which I have never had a maxi dress. So it's a large, but it should fit. It looks big enough. Um, I will try these on and. I'll show them to you guys. So here's the maxi dress. So this is just what it looks like here at the top. Excuse my blue bra. You can see it poking through. Well, that's kind of neat that you can like, since it has the seam right here, you can pull it up to make it like fold over a little bit or you can just pull it down. But I think I kind of like the way it looks. Kind of breaks things up a little bit. Um, step back here for you. And that's what it is on. That is very cute. That is, this is honestly, honestly something I would have never picked out for myself. Um, so that's really, really cute on. So I'll have to wear this sometime. <laughs> so the dress from Old Navy, the dress, the shirt from Old Navy didn't fit. I just tried that on. It's too tight in the arms, um, which sucks because that was what I ordered and what I wanted. But, oh, those things happen, you know. You know, buy them online, you never know. But at least I got a really cute dress out of it. So, worked out, in my opinion. Um, this next one here should be a beauty surprise bra. Ugh. Beauty surprise box. Um, I've never done a surprise box off of Yertle um, that I've bought. I did a kitchen supply surprise box um, a few months ago, and that was really fun to put together. Um, and it really cleared out a bunch of stuff that I didn't need anymore. Um, but this is my first time buying a surprise box and uh, I looked at her reviews she had really good reviews on her surprise boxes this wasn't the first one she's done and um, the last thing I need is more makeup but 
I had some urinal dollars to spend and was like, why not? So, that's what this should be. <laughs> okay, so, opening the box, this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, we'll see what all the goodies is she gave me. First one um, is from Orb. Wave and Shine Spa. What is this? It's for your hair. Shake, spray on wet or dry hair. Tossle to taste and let dry in the St. Copas Air. Follow with lipstick and heels. Still not entirely sure what it's supposed to be for. But you put it in your wet hair. So maybe it's kind of like a uh, salt spray, maybe? smells really good. I'd say there's probably about a fourth left in here. Um, so decent sample size to try it out. I have no idea where you'd even get it at. Um, but I got it for free. I think I paid four or five bucks for shipping for all this. So well, that's pretty much free. Um, then there are some impress press on nails. Oh, and they come with little jewels you can put on. One of the jewels is missing a stone though. But always nice to have some fake nails. You can hear my neighbors like yelling and talking. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, and these are the ones that, like you ha it already has the sticky on them, so you just pull it off and put them on. Haven't had one of these in a long time. Uh, next thing in here is brand new. Um, brand is Sweetly You Anti Aging and Super Moisturizing Complex Night Cream. That's nice. That'll come in handy. Um, I do use night creams. I'm trying to start early on all that good stuff. So. I'll probably put this one back because I'm working on one right now, but open it up and have a sniff, huh? So this is like odorless, there's no smell to it, and it is like completely full. Can we see that there? Can you hear my neighbors? They're like really getting mad about something. Um, yeah, so there's, there's that. It's brand new, which is awesome. Um, the... Lids a little cracked, but uh, hey, night cream that's so expensive. So, this next one is a super bubble wraps. Let's get on into here. I think this might be brand new as well because it's got like a label on it. I can find the opening. That would be fantastic. There we go. Okay. So this one is um, Alana Skincare Vitamin C Serum. I've heard really good things about the vitamin C serums, but I've never tried one. Anti wrinkle, brightening, collagen, booster, hydrating, antioxidants. Um, so this is a morning and night after cleansing. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Apply a small amount to face, neck, and decolletage. Morning and night after cleansing. Okay, so it's an it's a moisturizer. Um sorry. Again, these are always fantastic to have around. So now I've got two more to put back and I won't have to buy any anytime soon. Um this looks like a lipstick or something. This is Laka and Company Cheeky Lip. Never heard of that brand. But if you heard of it, let me know down below. Is it any good? That's a really pretty color. And this looks brand new. It looks like it hasn't been touched. No smell. And it's got like a little crank here to wind it up, which is nice. Oh no, it's been used. There's not much left in there. Interesting. It's a really pretty color though. I mean, look at that color. It's a gorgeous color so I'll have to disinfect that before I use it but nice nice color okay um then I've got pores no more cleanser from dr. Brandon never heard of that brand either but never heard to have another facial cleanser on hand so oh and it's brand new never been opened awesome She's really good at these. <laughs> really good at these bundles. Um, here's another one. This is an eye gel youth formula from Plant Stem Cells. 
brand is Majestic Pure. Some word I can't. Cosmetic something or other. I don't know. And it's brand new, never been opened. So let's open it and have a look and see what's inside. What kind of voice was that? See what's inside? I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, it's the little pump form. That's kind of cool. Let's see how that comes out. Just a clear gel. No smell. Can you see that there? Looks like snot. <laughs> um, I don't have anything on my face, so we can try that out a little bit. I love this kind of stuff. I've got um, one from the Dollar Tree. I've really been loving this. It has, has caffeine in it that I use every morning to wake up my eyes. So I'll probably use that one after I use up the one from the Dollar Tree. Ooh, I am excited about this one. Um, this is the same brand as the eye gel from Majestic Pure Cosmetics. Um, Dead Sea Mud Mask. Natural Mud Mask from Dead Sea. Create zero pore skin. Um, I've never tried one of these. Like, I've heard of them, the Dead Sea Masks, but I've never tried one. Brand new, never been opened. That is fantastic. Um, I definitely think I've more than got my money's worth, seeing as I only paid $5 for one of these beauty boxes. Um, and there's still some more stuff in here. So, this next one, let's see what this is. Restlini Luxury Skin Care Reptide Face and Neck Firming Cream. So it's a firming cream. Okay. Um, I don't know that I necessarily need a firming cream yet. I'm getting a little bit of little bit of wrinkles around the eyes, but that's pretty much my only issue. Um, I might give it a go though. I like the packaging. I like that symbol right there. That's really pretty. Whatever that is, that's pretty. Um, last thing in here, I believe. Nope, there's something else. I need this like I need a hole in the head. Uh, okay. It's a postcard. Um, there is a paper in here that she filled out. It says a beauty surprise box and she put thanks. Um, I never used this. I hope you do. Did I mention how awesome you are? And it's one of those info sheets. And then this last thing. Ooh, it's nail polish from Essie. I have never actually used Essie Brain Nail Polish, so I've heard fabulous things about it. Like, everybody raves about Essie. Um, this is a gel setter. Ultimate wear and shine top coat. So I'm not going to open all that up because, you know, it's just top coat from Essie. But it's interesting that it's gel. So does that mean, like, you can put, like, regular nail polish on top and then set it with, like, a gel top coat? Hmm. Let's read the back. Ultimate Wear and Shine Top Coat, new formula, seals in color and provides a gel-like finish, provides our best wear and shine, use with any SD polish, no lamp needed, apply your favorite SD base coat, two coats of any SD polish, and finish with SD gel setter top coat. So you can uh, pretty much turn any of your nut polishes into like a gel, and I've heard great things about gel. So like it last longer and stuff like that so I will definitely be doing a review on this product um because I think that's awesome and if it works really well like and if it gives really long lasting power I'll be buying some more of this so that is it for today's Yertle unboxing I've got a few more things coming in the mail um I think I've got two more boxes to go so I will be back with you in a few days Hey guys, are you excited? I finally got my last two packages from Yertle and we can finish up this haul. What am I talking about? Last two packages. I've got more stuff coming already. Um, but this is the last two stuff to finish out this Yertle haul. So, um, which one do we want to start with? This one. I know what this guy is. I know what both these guys are. They're both, well, you'll find out here in a second. But, uh, I've been waiting for these for a hot minute. Granted, this guy came... Sometime last week, but it's just a pair of earrings. I mean, they're really cute. I wasn't like planning on wearing them or anything, um, so I just saved them back for the haul. I just I saved them back for when that second pack package came, so I could just do them all together. So I feel like this is gonna be a super long haul already. 
I really hope I don't cut into these guys. There's really no good way to open this. So, we're just gonna get on into it. Okay, before I drop everything, she sent a little info sheet. It says, I hope you love your adorable lilac feather earrings. Thank you. Happy yurtling. Um, I've had this item for four years. The most unique place this has been is Yacht on Columbia River. I never used this. I hope you do. That wasn't checked. Sorry. That's just one of like, the, the um, questions or whatever. And then you like mark everything. Um, did I mention how awesome you are? Super. So, head to the info sheet if you're interested. And... She wrapped them up really cute. One of them already fell out. <laughs> oh, here is earring number one that is all tangled. There. Get that all fixed. How cute are these? Personally, I think they look more gray than they do lilac, but they definitely have a purple tint to them. They're so cute, and they got, like, these little dangly charms with them as well. And they're just a set, which I think I like the the can't talk. I like the tissue paper. <laughs> it's black with polka dots. It's really cute. So where's the second one? Oh boy, that's not good. There's there's no second earring in here. Oh, fell on the floor. So oh, and they also have a little cute little gem up here too. Isn't that cute? So adorable. I'm excited. Pick this one guy up here. There they are. I'm really excited about these. I have had my eye on these on Yertle for quite some time. Um, and I, I finally just broke down the bottom. So I'm pretty excited about those. And then we'll get on into this next package. Which I feel like this one I have been waiting particularly long for. Um, probably close to two weeks. But part of that is due to shipping. They kind of ship late. Um, so that happens. They have, when you buy something on Yertle, you have like, I think it's six or seven days to ship. And I think they wait until like day five or so to ship, which that happens. I've had to do that myself. Um, but it just makes it like so much more anticipated. Like, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, hey Mike, which my husband bought these off his Yertle account for me because I'd spent all my monies. Um, oh my god, guess what? Your beauty bundle number three is finally here. Enjoy. Um, didn't realize this was listed as a beauty bundle, but I guess it kind of is. It's a couple of different things in here. I think it's only two. More tissue paper, which I will use for my yurtles. I'm sure that had to be kind of weird for her to, like, box up makeup for a guy. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Mike probably felt a little weird about buying it too, but I really wanted it, but I was completely out of money, so he got it for me. I'm dropping it. Okay, so there's two perfume, two perfumes. Yes, no. Um, this is in French. Oh, ultimate anti-aging all skin types. So this is some kind of a serum or elixir. Um, ultimate anti-aging oil, deep wrinkles, dark spots, firmness. Apply four drops morning and evening to the face, neck, and decollete before applying your cream. Interesting. I wonder if this would hurt anything if I just like uh, put it in my lotion, like the whole thing, and just like shook my lotion up. Because I use the same lotion every day. I don't really know. I don't really have wrinkles, but I am getting a few fine lines, so this isn't really something that I, I need, need, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, and then this looks like some perfume, and it's called Amazing Grace. Unopened little, little bottle. And that is the uh, anti-aging serum right there, if anybody is interested in having a look at it. So I'm going to give this a smell, because I don't remember this being listed on the listing, but... I don't know if that's for me. To me personally, that just like smells like alcohol. So I don't know about this guy. Um, but this right here is the whole reason I wanted the bundle 
Um, it is a Sexy Booster Sexy Glow Bronzer from, from Physician's Formula. Um, I just think the packaging is adorable. I have seen these in stores. I think they're kind of pricey. I think they're 10 to $15, which personally I think is a bit expensive for makeup. Um, I just, I choose not to spend that kind of cash on these things. I believe she had this bundle listed for, for $45 Yertle dollars, um, which is fine by me because it's not real cash, you know? So, I mean, technically we paid, I think it was four or five bucks in shipping for this, which is fine with me. And this is completely unopened. Oh, yes. I am so excited by this brush. I have been wanting a brush like this for contour for the longest time. And not necessarily this brand, just this shape which it's really soft and I, I like the red handle that's nice that doesn't hurt my feelings any um so that's just the back of it it's got like a little mirror um, which opens up and that's where your brush sits and then here is the bronzer which I think that's more of a highlight shade for me personally um it, it's quite light there's two different colors going on here really there's like this really pretty golden color um and then you got the bronzier color so let's see how well you can see this. I think both of them are a bit more of a highlight, like especially if they're mixed together. They're going to be really pretty for a highlight. The golden one almost has like gold specks of glitter to it. How well can you see that? Do I need to turn on a light? I know you can definitely see this one. Give me one second. Turn on the light. It's so like cloudy out, like the natural lighting in here is horrible today. Um, but here's the bronzer, and then here is the highlight, which you can't really see it because it's such a light highlight color. Let me see if I can build that up a little bit. Can you see it now? Right there. You can barely see it, but it is very pretty. And these kind of almost smell like chocolate interesting it's, it's kind of like a chemical chocolate smell almost it's, it's, I like it it's nice but it's kind of weird um yeah that is what I was most excited about I've been wanting one of these for a very long time I just couldn't justify spending the cash on it so I'm really excited to get it through Yertle um this that'll wrap up the Yertle haul for today well for the whole Yertle haul for this video <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm going to insert the video of Molly wearing her new dog clothes, um, just because this video is already so long and she's got so much clothes, <laughs> um, so I'll probably just make a whole separate, like, puppy fashion show or something like that if you guys are interested in seeing all of her shirts and such that she's gotten from Yertle, um, but otherwise... That'll wrap up this video. Give it a thumbs up if you really like it. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.